In this um, lecture or PowerPoint, we're going to look at what the different eight agreed upon characteristics that all living things have. And it'll be interesting to see how many of these eight you actually were able to come up with in the previous assignment that we discussed with dealing with the abiotic biotic factors here. Um, the first that all scientists or biologists agree on is that living things must be either a cell or composed of cells. So they're, they're said to be either a unicellular organism or a multicellular organism. The second characteristic that they say life has to have is the ability to reproduce itself. It can be through a sexual process of a sperm and egg uniting to fertilize to create um, a new organism or it can be asexually, such as this primitive single-celled creature just simply dividing in half through binary fission. But in, in regardless, life must be able to copy itself. Life must have some kind of a genetic code, whether it be DNA or RNA. Currently, for example, our coronavirus that we're experiencing um, in the community, that is an RNA type virus versus a DNA type virus. The purpose, of course, is to make protein. And we will discuss a lot about how that all goes on later in this course. The fourth characteristics is we have to have the ability to grow and to develop. Grow simply refers to as getting larger in size, whereas development means that we go through some kind of a sequential change from, say, infant up to, through adolescence to an adult, plants doing somewhat similar things. The fifth would be to obtain and use energy. This is our chemical reactions that we can um, obtain energy, produce it, such as plants can produce a high energy compound called a sugar or a carbohydrate through the process of photosynthesis, whereas respiration or cellular respiration is where we can take that carbohydrate, break it down and release energy in the form of ATP. The sixth characteristic is you have to be able to respond to your environment. This is a stimulus um, and response type of situation and probably also have the ability to adapt to that, um, that stimulus that you may be experiencing. So seventh, we would have to have something called an internal balance, such as what we would refer to as homeostasis. That's, um, for example, maintaining a constant body temperature, um, such as 98.6 in um, normal, is considered normal for humans. Above that would be an abnormal. Usually your, your body is responding to some kind of an invasion. Um, hence, temperature screenings are used very commonly with the COVID um, situation. I think they are looking at a temperature above 100. That's usually your body's response to that infection. And that's a simple screening. It's not very accurate. I think it's you will see 40% of individuals that are COVID infected um, do not necessarily have increased body temperatures. And then the last is the ability to evolve or change over time. Um, and that's usually the evolution as we will talk about later in this course, will deal with um, the change um, in response to the environment. Um, it's called natural selection um, and adaptation. So, for example, I just used the evolution of the horse from its, its common ancestor. Oops, let's go back. Common ancestor here up to the modern day horse. And you can see that we've um, seen a size increase in horses from when they were um, first um, present. Probably this is the cave painting horses that we've seen. Um, in primitive man to our modern day version. So what I'm going to ask you to do is see, because I'm more important not that you can memorize these eight characteristics, but can you identify situations and what characteristic they may be referring to. So in your OneNote, you'll find this worksheet that I created 
for you to do and you will be given different situations that you will then need to identify which of these eight characteristics um, apply. So for example, the uh, number one, as you can see on the slide, and you'll see it more clearly when you open up your OneNote page, this says that the boy shot up five inches in one year. Which one of these eight characteristics would that be? Is it made up of cells? Is it reproduction, genetic code, growth and development, obtain energy, and so on? Um, and you can just simply put down the number. So if you think the boy shot up in, in it just one year and that's growth and development, you can just type in number four. If you think it actually could be more than one, sometimes these aren't as easy to figure out as, um, as they may seem, you can actually put in more than one number. So it could be um, maybe you think it's growth and development and maybe response to the environment. Um, so I would put in four, comma, and then a five, um, if that's um, what I was doing. So that'll be your job um, to complete th this worksheet. And again, if we're in, if we have learned how to access Summit, if I've pumped out Summit, um, which I probably won't do until next week, um, then you would just submit that checkpoint that this uh, assignment matches. Any questions? Send me a remind. Remind's the best way to contact me. Um, if you haven't signed up for Remind, go to the web page and sign up with the um, text code so you can have it on your phone. Thank you.